Alright. Welcome back to the Jews Workshop. My name is Stacy Rowland. So, one of the things I've seen with people, it's like a pet peeve of theirs. Um, we all get, we all get in a funk. And people will say, well, just be happy. And honestly, that that's it. Just be happy. Um, you're the only one that can do it. Nobody else can. And we all feel funk. Every single one of us. But there is a key that people miss. Now, if you've come here to make excuses, if you've come here to uh, defend how you feel, or tell me how what I'm about to tell you isn't going to work, stop watching this right now, because this is not for you. This is for seekers. This is for people who are wanting to learn something important about themselves. That's the entire workshop, is you are you are a being and you need to know how it works so that you can function and if you want to come in with yeah but I yeah but I'm different but this is my experience then then shut this off now because the simplest answer is what I'm going to give you and if you're not ready for that then go somewhere else all right, for the rest of you, the simplest answer, smile. I shit you not. Now, what we don't know, what we don't get taught, is that we are biophysiology. The, th the, the one thing I've learned in my life is I was not taught what this thing does. I was taught about math, I was taught about English, I was taught about how to run, but I was not taught what this thing was or how it worked. Now, our emotion is part of our physiology. In Chinese medicine, it's, it's spoken as five elements, and I'm not going to get into them all now, I will later because I got shit to talk about, but in the five element theory, it's known that when the chi moves through the body at a specific time, uh, in a specific pathway, in the fascial system of the body, then an emotion is either at its highest or its lowest peak of energy. So, emotion is in here. It's not in here. And so we often think that we are the emotion, but the emotion is a feeling. It's a sensation in the biophysiology. Now, all feelings come with posture and movement. It's as though the body, which is the feeling part of us, has its way of communicating, feeling. Now, most of us know we can see it in others. It's, it's, it's that dramatic that when someone is in a funk, they sink, they fold in, they droop, they drop, they down, they look down, they're down. Open up the physiology. Open the shoulders. Roll them on to the rib cage. Open the arms. Open the hands. Open the neck. You're in a cosmos of energy. Open up to it instead of closing from it. When we close from it, we can't feel it. So we don't even know it's there. We have blocked, and we droop, and we drop, and we sink, and we internally spiral, and life gets to suck, because we're not listening to the messages of the cosmos, which is 
always producing information and messages to these. If we know and we learn how to listen and open and rise above what we thought that we were ever once, and then again every day, that we can look up and we can open up and then we can smile. And smile is fun. So this was a, 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 a story I was told that you smile. Even if you're not happy, just smile. Close your eyes. Just smile. Don't mean it. Don't think about it. Just do it. And the mind and the body. <laughs> no meat. And something inside will change because it does. Because that's how these things work. You and I are biophysiological beings. We are not just minds, we are not just feelings, we are not just bodies, we are not just spirit. We are all of these things together in the universe. There you go. Yeah. Talk to you later.